Hi, I'm John Parsons with the Hawk Technical Training Center. In this video, I will demonstrate basic operations of the TU-5300 and TU-5400 process turbidimeters. When power is supplied to the TU-5400 turbidimeter, one of four colors will be displayed on the status indicator light shown on the front of the instrument. The four colors denote the status of the instrument at the current time. For full details, refer to the instrument manual. But generally speaking, the green color indicates that the instrument is operating without issue. No warnings, no errors, and no reminders. Yellow indicates a sensor warning. Red indicates a sensor error. And blue indicates that the instrument is in a calibration or verification activity. The blue button on the front of the instrument can be configured to perform different functions as shown later in this video. For example, the button can hold the outputs for maintenance or service activities. In addition, the TU-5300 and 5400 may be configured with an RF ID module used to receive and transmit information and data. The sensor cable provides connection to SC controllers such as the SC200 or SC1000. The maximum distance is 50 meters or 164 feet when no accessories, for example the cleaning unit or the flow sensor are connected. The additional port here on the left provides connection to the optional accessories, the mechanical cleaning unit or the flow sensor. Additional operational settings are located in the sensor configure menu. We'll start by pressing the menu key, scrolling down to the sensor setup menu, pressing enter, and then scrolling down to the configure menu where many of the operational settings can be selected and modified. Let's start at the top. The location provides the user with the means of creating a sample name for the location, perhaps filter effluent, turbidity, etc. There's a maximum of 16 characters. The default is the instrument serial number. Signal average is a feature that we can mathematically average readings from the TU-54 or TU-5300. The signal averaging is a default of 30 seconds and can be set anywhere from 5 to 90 seconds. Measuring units, while the default is NTU or nephilometric turbidity units, a variety of other turbidity units, for example, formazin nephilometric units, are available. You can also choose milli-NTU for ultra-low turbidity applications. The resolution allows the user to select thousandths or ten thousandths resolution, three or four places to the right of the decimal, depending upon the typical measured values. Bubble reject is a software feature that is utilized to discard small anomalies caused by bubbles flowing through the flow cell. The default selection is on. The logger interval is onboard data logging of the measurements. So the TU-5400 can initially store the data and long-term storage is supplied or provided by the SC200. So the instrument can automatically log data that can be downloaded via an SD card for uh, manipulation, averaging, graphing, report building, etc. So data logging interval can be set in this particular menu. Set defaults allows the user to return all of these configuration settings back to factory default if desired. 
button function allows the user to define the function of the blue button on the front of the TU5400 turbidimeter. So if we press the enter key here, you see that we can choose functions, for example, service, link to SC, or we can turn the button off if so desired. The next two menu items, flow sensor and cleaning unit, provide control for optional devices and they will be covered in a separate video. So a flow sensor will measure the flow rate of sample through the process instrument and the cleaning unit is an optional device to automatically keep the sensor vial or the flow vial nice and clean automatically. Both of these are optional accessories that connect to the port on the back of the TU5400 device. Finally, auto check is a very nice feature that can be set up at a variety of different intervals. Different sensitivities can be selected and the auto check is a wonderful tool that can periodically verify the cleanliness and clarity of the vial used in the instrument. This concludes the basic operation of the TU5300 and 5400 online turbidimeters.